writers, it's Mrs. Zerlat. I'm here to talk to you today about using your word wall. I'm noticing that a lot of you when you're writing are still spelling word wall words incorrectly. Remember, we have to spell words correctly so that it's easy for our audience to read. Let's take a look at a story I'm writing while I use my word wall word to help me spell my word wall words correctly. Let's take a look. Okay, so I'm going to start. I always make sure my word wall is right here so I can check to see when I'm writing if a word is a word wall word. I'm going to start with my setting, one sunny day. One. Oh yes, that's a word wall word. So I look right here, O-N-E. Sunny, I know, is not a word on my word wall, so I spell it the best I can and keep going. One sunny day, I. I is a word wall word, so I remember that I have to spell it like this. Played, I think to myself, is that a word wall word? Oh, it is too. So I need to use my word wall to spell the word correctly. Catch. That's not a word that a lot of writers would use, so that's not on the word wall. With. That's a word we use a lot. Me look in the W's. I know it starts with the W, so I'm going to go over here and find with Zachary. That's a name, so I know that's not on the word wall. I'm going to spell that the way I know. One sunny day I played catch with Zachary. When. That's a word that writers use a lot. It's in the W's. Here it is. W-H-E-N. When I threw. That's not a word writers use a lot, so I'm going to spell it the best I can. The. The. That starts with a T, so I've got to find it here in the T's and spell it correctly because it's a word wall word. Ball, ball, buh, all. Oh, I hear all, and that's a word wall, so I can also use a word wall word to help me spell other words. Here's all right here. When I threw the ball to him, him, that starts with an H, and that's a word wall word. To him, he caught it. So writers, remember today and every day we have to use our word wall so that our writing is easier to read. Go to work!